Well, it's, it's, it's working pretty pretty well. You know, we, uh, you know, it's very very easy for me to look over the defense and um, you know know where they're coming from and just kind of line my guys up in the right way and just pick them apart. Kobe, is a win a win at this point, or do you also kind of take a look at the fact that you almost blew an 18 point lead? No, I mean we'll we'll look at it because you know there's some things that they did you know, schematically that threw us for a loop, that got them back in the game. I mean, they did a good job moving bodies around and setting weak side screens and sliding guys to the corner. And, you know, they moved some bodies around, which kind of, you know, threw us off a little bit. So it was purely an executional thing that we'll look at. Does the seven-game road trip come at a good time for you guys to build on this momentum, the three-game win streak, and build that chemistry even more? No, I, yeah, I think so. I think it's, uh, you know, the road is really a, a good place to bond together mm -hmm. as a group even more, you know. And, you know, in an environment where everybody's rooting against you, um, it's pretty much us against the world. Kobe, you said the first two wins over the weekend wouldn't really mean much if you came and laid an egg here tonight. Mm -hmm. You didn't really lay an egg tonight. Another good look at this new role situation. Uh, is this what we're going to be seeing for the rest of the season? You think it's, it works? No, no, absolutely. I mean, it's just a matter of reading the defense and, you know, seeing what they're going to give us. You know, and it's our jobs to make the game easier for everybody else. And it's not just me, you know, it's... You know, Steve obviously with his penetration making plays and you know Dwight when he's rolling to the basket making plays out to the corner and you know Powell obviously and and Clark too. I mean Clark's been able to penetrate and, and, and draw defenses and make plays. Kobe most Kobe teams with a five and fifteen road record probably a little wary of a seven game trip, but do you think this comes at a time that's you know can kinda of legitimize what you've done so far? Yeah, I mean you just gotta you gotta go out there and see what you got. You know what I mean? It's it's uh it's not something that I'm worried about, it's not something that Makes me nervous. You, know, you gotta go out there and see what you got. You guys have 30 30 assists, 34 assists, I think 39 field goals. Mike was saying after the game, it's, it's almost impossible to not want to play that way. How, you know, as a group, in terms of sustaining it, how true do you think that is? I mean, you just you just read the defense and pick them apart. I mean, it's not, to me, it's not rocket science. It's not something that's, you know, too complicated. But is that kind of sharing sort of feed on itself though, when you when you do it consistently? Well, yeah, because you know, well, yeah, emotionally, yes, it's, it's contagious, but also um, it, it keeps the defense, you know, a couple passes behind, so you just see them late all the time because they don't know where to come from or what to do. So now they're always a step behind. Kobe, with the game on the line, you didn't hesitate to dish the ball to Earl Clark. How? What kind of trust do you have in him right now? Yeah, I mean he's just he's playing extremely well. You know, he can make plays, he can shoot the you know, shoot the three, he has a good mid range game, can finish at the rim. Can also make plays for everybody else. Um, but you know, he was the guy that they were coming off of. So, you know, we talked about it and how to line them up and and um, you know, have him either cut to the rim or finish. Kobe, Earl was saying earlier today that even if he wasn't in the rotation, I mean we're in his and constantly making sure to What kind of feedback were you well, I mean, just just tell him to stay with it, and um, tell him his number is going to be called. And um, you know, I mean, to his credit, though, I mean, he he worked every single day, and you know, never got discouraged. What would define an ideal road trip for you guys? Seven and zero. <laughs> Kobe, skill wise. Kobe, because it's Steve's first trip back there, do you have any sense of what kind of reception we get from the crowd there? Oh, standing ovation. You know. Oh, for, sh for sure. I don't even think it's a question. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, they should. I mean, they're obviously going a different direction, and you know, the organization felt like they needed to do some, some things different. And um, yeah, I think just out of respect, uh, you know, they wanted to make sure they put him in a place where he was, where he wanted to go and wanted to be happy, and, and, and deservingly so. I mean, he gave Phoenix some incredible years, and it was a professional the entire time. That's Kobe, because you're, you're playing New Orleans, do you have any Super Bowl predictions? Uh, well, personally, you know, I want to see the Ravens, you know, do that thing. You know, so uh, it's going to be tough, though. I mean, San Francisco, with the amount of weapons that they have and Kaepernick's legs, it's going to be it's going to be tough to neutralize that. So I'm looking forward to see it.